hi guys welcome back to my new video and today in this video i will create this website design using html and css on this web page you can see the gradient color in the background there is an icon and menu in the top right corner after that there is a text button and one image on the right side this car image is animated when we reload the website this image will move from its position we will create this animated website design using HTML and CSS step by step. So before starting this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel Easy Tutorials if you are new on my channel. Now let's start this video. Here I have this folder and in this folder I have one index.html file and one style.css file. I have another folder with some images and icon. You can find all these images link in the video description. Now I will open my text editor which is brackets editor. Here I have added basic HTML structures. This one is my CSS file. Here I have added margin padding and font family. In the HTML file I have added this link tag to connect HTML file with CSS and this is the Google fonts link. You can add this or you can also skip if you want regular fonts. Now we will come to the body tag and here we will create one div with the class name container. Let's copy this class name, write it here in the CSS file and for this one we will write CSS properties like width, height, background, it will be linear gradient, then two color code, after that position, padding from the left side and right side and box sizing border box. After adding this, just come to the folder and open this HTML file with Google Chrome. Now you can see gradient color on this web page. Let's come back in the HTML file and here we will create one nav tag. In this nav, I will add one image, source, then file path. After that, we will add ul and li for the list. First, we will add one icon. So I'm using img source and the file path. Now in the next line, we will add list and one text. Let's duplicate it and we will change the text. After replacing the text, let's refresh the web page and now you can see it is looking like this. Next we have to write CSS properties for this nav. Just copy this nav, write it here in the CSS file and for this one we will set display, flex and align item center, height will be 80 pixel and position relative. Now it is looking like this. Let's come back and copy this nav then write img and here we will set the width and cursor will be pointer. Here you can see in this nav we have this ul and li so here we will write nav ul position will be absolute and top 40 pixel right 0 so it will be in the right side now you can see this menu in the right side next we have to add css for list so just copy again then write li and here we will add list style none and color this color code and font size after that margin from the bottom and cursor pointer now it is looking good next we will add one line in the left side so just come back and copy this one nav ul then write after content it will be empty then width one pixel and height we can write 130 pixel and background this color code position will be absolute and top then left after adding this refresh the web page now you can see one line in the left side of this menu. After that we will come back in the HTML file and here we have this nav tag. So after this nav tag we will create another div with the class name content. In this div we will add title in h1 and one text in p tag. After that I am adding one button. Type will be button and button text it is data sheet. So it is displaying like this. We will write CSS properties for this one also. So just come back and copy this class name content. Write it here in the CSS file. And for this one, we will write max width 600 pixel and margin from the top. Now you can see it is coming here. Let's copy it again, then write h1 for the title. And we will set the font size. Now you can see increased font size for h1. Let's come back and copy this one then write P for the paragraphs. And here we will add max width. 
then color code font size 15 pixel and font weight it will be 300 which is light then line height and margin 40 pixel 0 now you can see this text is looking good and there is a space from top and bottom next we will write css for this button so just copy it again the right button and for this button we will set width and padding after that border will be none and outline none then font size for the text in the button and font weight and background box shadow and cursor pointer it will be 3 pixel now you can see this button is also looking good next we will add one image in the right side so just come back in the html file and after this div we will add img tag and src and file path let's add one class name for this image which is car image let's copy this class name write it here in the css file for this one we will set width so it will be 55 percent let's check the web page and this car image is coming at the bottom so we have to change its position so come back in the css file write position absolute then write 70 pixel and bottom 60 pixel now it is coming on the correct position next we will add some features icon at the bottom so just come back in the html file and after this image we will create one div and let's add the class name bottom menu here we will create another div and in this div there will be one icon so i am using img tag then source and file path and we will add text in p tag so this is the text next we will duplicate this one so just copy and paste and change the icon file name and change the text so we have four different icon and text after that refresh the web page and it is displaying like this it is coming in the vertical line so just come back and copy this class name bottom menu write it here in the css file and for this one we will write display flex and position absolute bottom 50 pixel now it is coming in the horizontal line let's come back and you can see in this bottom menu there is an another div so just come back in the css file here we will write bottom menu and div and for this one we will write display flex align item center and font size and margin from the right side so now it is coming like this next we have to change the size of this icon so just copy this bottom menu then img width will be 25 pixel and margin from the right side so now it is looking good next we have to add animation on this car image for that just come back and here we have this class name car image so in this one we will add animation let's write any name so i am writing run two second linear one so this animation will run for one time next we have to add keyframes for this run so just come to the bottom here we will write keyframes then run and here we will write zero percent transform translate minus 100 pixel and minus 100 pixel so by default it will be on the minus 100 pixel so let's copy it again then write 100 percent so when the animation will be 100 percent this translate value will be zero so here i am writing zero pixel and zero pixel after adding this let's refresh the web page now you can see this car is moving whenever we will refresh the web page so this is how we have created this animated web page design using html and css i hope this video will be helpful for you if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section and please like and share this video and also subscribe my channel easy tutorials thank you so much for watching this video